What is going on guys? How you all doing today? Rango Vids Mango 12 here and we have the return of Secret Wars 2099 issue 2 and of course this is a Secret Wars tie-in. Now I know a few of you guys in the previous issue were asking why when Captain America becomes Roberta why she doesn't remember like being Captain America and why does she refer to Captain America as someone else and stuff like that. That actually gets answered in this issue partially so yeah I'll probably I'll explain that when it comes up to it in like the first few pages but you guys may remember I was actually doing a physical comic giveaway for this issue and the question I asked you guys was which Spider-Man 2099 comic is your favourite and you guys answered a lot so it was really difficult to choose the winner but the winner is Jose Rilo or Riello I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce your last name but congratulations you are the winner of Secret Wars 2099 issue 1 physical comic giveaway so I guess I'll just contact you on YouTube or you can contact me through my Facebook page by going to the link in the description and tell me where to send the comic and stuff like that and so anyway guys just want to move on to something else really quick you guys seem to have gotten a little bit confused when I mentioned Thor as being Hercules well what I actually meant was you know like how Captain America 2099 takes over Steve Rogers Captain America that's what I meant about Hercules I meant Hercules is in the place of Thor for the Avengers. So Hawkeye takes over the original Hawkeye, uh, Captain America takes over the original Captain America, and Hercules takes over the place where Thor used to be, if you get what I mean. So that's all I meant. I didn't literally mean Hercules was Thor. That would, that would be ridiculous. But anyway, now that we've got that out of the way, now that we've done the giveaway winner, let's jump into this issue. Let's go. Alright, so the issue picks up going back to Roberta, who's in bed with her husband, and She's actually asleep when all of a sudden this assassin-like ninja comes out of nowhere and starts to attack her. Her husband jumps up and tries to fight back like the loving husband that he is and eventually just gets knocked straight to the floor and knocked out instantly by this guy. This mysterious ninja then goes ahead to try and kill Roberta who you need to remember is Captain America and she catches the blade in her hand. And of course, Roberta has this transformation type of thing where one minute she's like all skinny and then the next minute she's all muscly. And this ninja guy seems pretty surprised by the fact that she's strong, like he even says, what are you? Now I don't know about you, but that sounds like he's been hired to kill Roberta, not knowing that she can turn into Captain America. I mean, imagine going to kill someone and then they turn into some mad steroided up person and start throwing you around the room. Now, she starts questioning him about like what's going on and stuff like that, and he actually kills himself. Now, she calls into Alchemax headquarters and tells them to come pick up the body, and I absolutely love this part. She says the body will be outside, and she continues to launch the dead body out the window, and that just amazed me. That was awesome. And we also get a little bit in of insight into what Captain America's identity, Roberta, is all about. Now, it turns out that some of you guys were right. Roberta doesn't actually know that she's Captain America. It's like they are two different people. So, Captain America knows who Roberta is, but sh she doesn't know that they are the same person. So, it's really weird. It's like, some of you... I remember someone said in the comments that maybe they hear a key word and Roberta turns into Captain America. And that is certainly what it seems like, where... R Roberta just thinks that she has a normal family and it turns out that her husband actually works for Alchemax but anyway moving on throughout the comic we go to these two playing chess and Hawkeye seems to be getting a little bit uh, frustrated with the game mainly because he can't win now guys I think that was Hawkeye I haven't read the previous issue like you know issue one I haven't read that for about well since I reviewed it so if I get anything wrong then just check the description and if there's anything wrong, I would have corrected it down there. So check that before you comment correcting me on anything. But yeah, so Miguel knows that Tanya has pretty much eaten this person and killed this person, but left its dead corpse in the street where people can find it. Now, Miguel O'Hara has disposed of the body and stuff. Now we go over to Hercules, who's in the training room and seems to be putting his training colleagues in the infirmary and you can tell why because he does not care who they are he seems to get a little bit too into fighting these people and gets a little bit too aggressive i mean that guy could have definitely died from a training exercise that's pretty crazy now we also get a little hint at roberta's uh, secret identity and how it works again because she's actually sat there working in the uh, alchemax talking to the head of alchemax and miguel and he actually says Avengers Assemble 
and Roberta instantly turns into Captain America and you can see by the whites of her eyes that her eyes just go blank white as if she's in some kind of hypnotization like so it must be something like a new strategy on keeping your secret identity safe because if you don't know you're Captain America then how are you going to reveal your identity to other people if you don't know yourself so that must be how it works but then we go over to the main guy of the comic the guy who actually set the attack on roberta and he actually starts going crazy at this guy in the restaurant and the avengers turn up just in time they're there just to talk to him and find out why he set this target on captain america but as they're saying this this guy turns into what seems to be is it maestro from spider-man 2099 comics like I did not expect that, but especially, remember when we saw Spider-Man 2099 fighting my, uh, Maestro in, I think it was issue 7, uh, that was from the future or something like that, so I don't know why Maestro is here, but as you can see, the Avengers are no match for Maestro, he just keeps taking each one down, Iron Man tries taking him down, and Maestro basically says that it tickles him, and yeah, Captain America also tries to have a go at him and he just kind of laughs it off and punches her away from him. But I'd also like to point out that Captain America actually recognised him as the Hulk. Now, Maestro is actually the Hulk from the future, if I'm correct, I'm not too sure. I did used to know, but it, I, it escapes me at the moment, but check the description and I'll correct it later on. Yeah, as you can see, the defenders also join the attack and I think they're with Maestro and as you can see, the woman on the left was from the Spider-Man 2099 issue 7 or issue 8 comics that actually tricked Spider-Man into traveling back in time and stuff like that. And I think we also saw the Silver Surfer there. I just got a quick look then, so I'm not sure. But that is where the issue ends. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out. It kind of looks like they're like trying to do good things. But if you remember from the end of the previous issue, they actually said that the Defenders are enemies. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out again. As of this issue guys, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments section below. And of course, hit the like button on this video. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. The artwork is pretty good, I actually like it. And I've liked the look of Maestro and the front cover as well, that was awesome. It was a nice surprise to get the reveal on what's been going on with uh, Roberta's secret identity as Captain America and stuff. I thought that was really good. But yeah, so 9 out of 10 guys, hit the like button on this video. Go to the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook for comic book news and of course to find out when I'm editing these videos. Also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video.